वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एट जीरो एट फाइव वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आल बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू पासिंग ऑफ पैरामीटर्स थ्रू सब रूटीन इन एट जीरो एट फाइव नाउ हियर वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ पासिंग ऑफ पैरामीटर्स एंड वाई डू वी नीड टू हैव पासिंग ऑफ पैरामीटर्स सी सब रूटीन इज अ काइंड ऑफ फंक्शन विच इज देर इन एट जीरो एट फाइव See in main program sometimes we may use one function again and again and microprocessor is having parameters based on seven resistors which are available for programming so whatever status which is there with that microprocessor that is been indicated by those seven resistors so whenever you execute subroutine program at that time we don't have many resistors for execution of subroutine if your program is complex in that case it is possible that you may not have resistors available which can be used for subroutine program so it is very essential that we should have passing of parameters parameters means here with 8085 whatever resistors which we are having which we use it for subroutine that we can pass it so that that can be used in subroutine as well as those datas that we can retrieve when we get back to the main program let us try to understand that by physical understanding so that will be more clear so my dear students passing of parameters means we are loading those data which are there in resistors of 8085 so parameters of subroutine in 8085 let us discuss that first so subroutine is kind of function which we use it by using call and return instruction any time in program and parameters of current program is stored in accumulator flag resistor b c d e h l resistors so parameter of current program that is been stored in this resistors only as this is programming model of 8085 now during subroutine we need to use above instructions only but what if you don't have this instructions available for programming so for that we need to load this parameters somewhere so that we can use this resistors for subroutine right so passing parameters during subroutine is very essential otherwise you will be having very few resistors for programming and passing parameters can be easily done by using push and pop instructions of 8085 now my dear students i'll explain you how we can have passing parameters in 8085 to maintain parameters of current program so my dear students here i'm writing my main program now while i am writing my main program let us say i am performing subroutine so by using call instruction i'll be calling subroutine so what will happen this program control that will get transferred to subroutine location when it is getting transferred to the subroutine location microprocessor will load the data of program counter on stack by using push pc once pc is getting loaded on stack microprocessor will have to transfer control on subroutine location so pc is equals to subroutine so that now subroutine can get executed but before you write function of subroutine we need to pass the parameters which were there in main program so what i'll be doing is now by using push and pop instruction i'll be doing this so by using push instruction i can load this resistors on stack so my dear students what i'll do is i'll be doing push psw push h push b and push d so what will happen when you do push psw then accumulator and flag resistor that will get loaded on stack then you execute push h means hl pair will get loaded on stack when you execute push b then bc resistors will get loaded on stack 
after that if you execute push d then de register that will get loaded on stack so parameters of program now that we load it on stack so now these registers are free to use it in subroutine why the reason is we have stored the values of all these registers right so now i can write subroutine program with the availability of all the registers now once you complete your subroutine you will have to retrieve this data so for that we need to execute pop instruction but you should be very careful my dear students stack is been utilized as per last in first out so when you do pop operation at that time first of all you should be doing pop of d means de will get retrieve after that you should do pop of b means bc will get retrieve after that you should do pop of h so hl pair will get retrieve after that you should do pop of psw means accumulator and flag will get retrieve so you see now i am doing pop d then pop b then pop h and then pop psw so now i have done passing of this all parameters which were there in this main program now once you execute return instruction then we need to retrieve our control to the main program which was there over here so for that we need to have pop pc so when you execute return instruction pop pc will get performed and program counter will be having next address of instruction which was there in this main program that instruction was the next instruction of this call subroutine instruction right and after that we can execute main program so you see with this main program we have all registers available as well as all these registers those were available for subroutine also so passing of parameter that is very essential when you do programming as well as here when you do passing of parameters at that time my dear students you should be very careful that if you write push instruction as per psw then b then h and then d then as per last in first out you should be writing it with pop so whatever last that we have written that should be first when you do pop the reason is stack is operated as per last in first out and if you pass the parameters while you do programming then in subroutine also all the registers are available for programming as well as those data which were there in main program that will stay as it is there is no effect so all the registers are available for main program as well as that will be available for subroutine so that is what the case which we need to have when we do passing of parameters i hope it is clear to you now if any query is there you just place that in comment box i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video